Hey, it's James here. So 2022 has been a fantastic year for audio equipment and also video gear. Anything if you're using to produce a podcast, a radio show, or video content, live streams, etc. So in this video, I wanted to round up some of the best equipment that we've seen and reviewed this year. Hello, my name is James Mulvaney. I'm founder of Radio.co, Podcast.co, Matchmaker.fm and Q Podcasts. On this channel, you'll learn about all things audio, stuff like audience growth strategies, radio and podcasting hacks, presentation techniques, gear reviews and more. There's new videos released every Friday, so click that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. So with Christmas around the corner, perhaps you're looking for great presents to buy a budding podcaster, radio presenter or live streamer. And we've seen lots of great audio equipment that's been released this year. Everything from new headphones by Rode to lots of SM7B looking microphones like this, which is a fantastic uh, SD1 by Universal Audio, uh, through to other things such as the Logitech cameras, uh, Rodecaster Pro 2, other audio interfaces, other microphones, Loads of stuff. Uh, so I thought I'd put together a video for you talking about some of the best equipment that we've looked at over the last year. Number 10, the Rode XCM50 USB microphone. Recently, Australian audio equipment manufacturer Rode unveiled a new range targeted at streamers and gamers, the Rode X range. And it consists of a number of microphones and some new pieces of software, including Unify, which is a virtual mixing solution aimed at the streaming and gaming industry. One of the microphones that has been released as part of this range is the XCM50, a USB condenser microphone that looks like Rode's NT-USB Mini edgier, bigger brother. And just as its aggressive looking red grill suggests, this little microphone packs quite a punch. The mic is currently retailing for $149 and has been a perfect companion for the budgeting Twitch streamer in your life. Before going out and buy one though, I suggest you stick around and see the other USB microphones I'm going to be covering in this list. Number 9, Universal Audio SD1. If you know anything about audio, you've likely already heard of Universal Audio. The brand has already established their name in the industry thanks to their ever popular audio interface, the Apollo Twin. This year they released the SD1, a dynamic microphone with a form factor which holds similarities to the increasingly popular microphone amongst podcasters, the Shure SM7B. The SD1 is an impressive mic with near identical sound to the Shure SM7B and the best part is it's at $260, it's going to be over $100 cheaper than the SM7B. Number 8, the Focusrite Vocaster 2. Now on to another giant giant in the audio hardware market, Focusrite. If you look up value for money in a dictionary, you'll find a picture of the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2. Yes, I'm aware that's not how dictionary works, but the point is that Focusrite know what they're doing when it comes to making industry standard a budget-friendly audio interface. We've used the Scarlett 2i2 for years and years and years, and this year Focusrite has made steps towards targeting the podcasting market with the Focaster 2, a plug-and-play solution for audio recording on the go. The Vocaster makes the recording process simple by boiling down the intimidating controls that you expect to find on a normal audio interface into three knobs. It also comes with nifty features like an auto gain function to make sure anyone can get professional sounding audio with just a few clicks. The Vocaster 2 currently retails around $280 and is well worth picking up for the budding podcaster in your life. Number 7, Rode NTH100 headphones. As this list goes on, you should get the impression that Rode have been pretty busy this year. The Rode NTH100 is another first for Rode. Their first ever pair of headphones. The company are known for their sturdy, trustworthy hardware and these over-ear headphones are no exception. Complete with Alcantara ear cup and headband cushions, these headphones remain comfy even during lung use. Also, being from Australia, Rode have also included Cooltech gel in the ear cups to make sure your ears keep cool as you work. Although I see the benefits, I'm looking forward to seeing the heated version for us here in the UK. The Rode NTH100 headphones are currently retailing for $150 and I highly recommend it. Number 6, Universal Audio Vault 2. As mentioned previously, Universal Audio know a thing or two when it comes to audio hardware. Their Apollo Twin interface is a bucket list item for many podcast producers and audio engineers. The Vault 2 is Universal Audio's budget-friendly interface for those of us who want that iconic Apollo Twin sound without burning a hole in our bank accounts. The Vault 2 is a neat little audio interface that is suitable for people of all levels of experience. It also comes with a nifty vintage button based on the UA610 tube preamp that adds a crispy bit of fizz to your recordings. 
This little box also comes with a suite of serious music production tools, virtual instruments, and plugins from the industry's best developers. All of this for $180. Apollo Twin, never heard of her. The Vault 2 is the way forward. Number five, Rode Wireless Go 2. If video is more your thing, I've got you. We've been using the Rode Wireless Go mic packs for years for our production, so if you're a subscriber to my channel, you already know just how great these little boxes sound. That's why my team and I were really excited when Rode released Wireless Go 2s earlier this year. The new version allows you to record two transmitters per receiver, meaning capturing interviews just got a whole lot easier. The transmitter also has an internal backup feature, which is a lifesaver if footage corrupts or camera batteries die. The two transmitters and receiver currently retail around £340 and are well worth it if you're a filmmaker or you're looking to record interviews on the go. Number four, Go XLR. Admittedly, this one is a bit of a wild card. The TC Helicon Go XLR looks like someone's combined a glow stick with a toaster, but you can't help but be impressed by the audio quality on this thing. The Go XLR comes with its own dedicated software similar to Rode's Unified technology, and as well as offering impressive audio effects, you can also use the software to remap and assign buttons and remotely move the faders. That's right, it's got motorized faders. The Go XLR retails around $450. Give it a try if you're looking for something a bit different. Number three, Rode X XDM100. Look, it's Rode again. The XDM100 is a dynamic USB microphone from the Rode X range. It looks like the edgier, older brother of the Rode podcaster that has been spending too much time in the local skate park. Joking aside, this microphone sounds great and I'd highly recommend it to anyone who has an interest in streaming or podcasting. The mic is currently retailing for $330. Number two, Blue Sona. We all know Blue thanks to their revolutionary USB microphone, the Blue Yeti, which we saw everywhere. But did you know they also make professional dynamic microphones too? The Blue Sona is a dynamic mic with a difference. Not only does it come in a range of trendy colors, white or black, but it also includes what Blue call clear amp technology. Now, most dynamic mics require you to purchase an external booster, so your signal can be strong enough for you to stream, broadcast, or podcast. However, the Blue Sona delivers strong plus 25 dB additional game for exceptional sound quality, no additional boosters needed. The mic is currently retailing for around $350. And in at number one, it's the Rodecaster Pro 2. Who could have guessed it. The Rodecaster Pro made waves when it was released back in 2019. So when we heard they had a sequel coming out this summer, we knew it was going to be something big and we were very lucky to get one before everyone else. Don't tell anyone. The Rodecaster Pro 2 is quite simply one of the most all-in-one solutions for podcasters and broadcasters out there at the moment. And I'm looking forward to seeing how they up this with the Rodecaster Pro 3 in a few years time. So what are the differences between this and the original Rodecaster Pro? Well, there are too many to listen to this video in fact. Make sure to go and watch my review of the Rodecaster Pro 2 after this video to get a full rundown of what it can do. The Rodecaster Pro 2 retails at around $730. So there we have it. That's my list of top equipment which you can use to enhance your studio that's been released this year, uh, let me know in the comments below, perhaps you've already gone and bought some of this or you're thinking about going and buying it or you've got it on your wish list this year for Christmas. I'd love to know which of this equipment um, that you've been thinking about purchasing or you've already bought and also what you think of it. Uh, let me know in the comments. If you found this video useful, as always, I'd appreciate a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you next year. Hey, before you go, let's connect on LinkedIn. I'm always posting interesting content like this over on my LinkedIn channel and it'd be cool to hang out. So go to jamesm.com slash connect, click on LinkedIn, send me a connection request. Once we're connected, send me a message, say you came over from this video and I'll send you some cool things for free. Sound fair? Well, head to jamesm.com slash connect and connect with me on LinkedIn and I'll see you over there.